So today we've got a fun little idea for you. And I will say this is Monday and on Mondays I try to do a little bit of pattern changes. Thursday I try to keep it simpler, a little quicker, but on Mondays I try to do some pattern making or changing of some kind. And I try to keep it simple so that you all feel like you can do this. And for those of you who are very good at pattern making, it's just an idea for you. So I got this from one of you. I love it. I love it. I think it's a great little idea. So let's work our way through and figure out how we're going to do it. And I'll explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. I started with pattern number 600. And the reason I did is because um, I wanted a blouse. I wanted a woven and I wanted a blouse. I wanted a woven because it's cooler in the summer. And I wanted a blouse as opposed to a knit because I wanted it a little bit away from my body. I want to have shape, but a little bit away from my body. So I started with the front of pattern 600. Now there's only three pieces in this. There's only going to be the front, the back, and the sleeve. That's it. This is the, um, the front. And what I did is I laid the front on a piece of paper. I put center front on the fold. And I ended up with this big thing like that. That was my front on the fold doubled. All right, then what you're going to do is figure out the side seam and do about thirds. doesn't exactly matter where. It doesn't make a difference, but do about thirds. I marked this point and I marked this point. Okay. So we're going to go back and pretend that the whole thing's on a fold. I just did the whole thing. And just mark two points. And you'll understand a little bit more about those two points here in a minute. So mark a lower one and then a higher one. And I folded it in half and transferred it to this side. And then cut that off. And when you cut it off, I used my French curve and just continued the line to where it was at an angle I wanted. And again, this is all styling, so it doesn't make a difference. How it's going to go on the blouse is like this. You're going to have two of these. One's going to fold on this side, one's going to fold on this side, and you're going to see these um, different layers. So when you put it on top of the blouse, which is what we're going to do, you'll see it all here in a minute, this will be the blouse length, and then these will fold back. They're not going to be connected at the front. Again, you'll see all that. So all it is is the whole blouse cut off at an angle and folded back. You do the dart on all layers, so you're going to have six darts. For you dart haters, um, you can use any base you want. It doesn't matter the base you use. You can still make a duplicate of that top and then do the angle cross on it. I'm using 600 because I like the darts. I love how this blouse fits, so that's why I'm using that base. Um, and then I lowered the neckline. And on this, what I did is I took it from 12 on my French Curve 13 to 22. So 13 at the shoulder, 22 at center front, and that became my new neck edge. And you're going to do that on the front of the blouse as well. I'm going to just do that after I cut it out. I'm not going to make a separate pattern for it, but you can see I'm just lowering that neckline a little bit. And then what I'm going to use is a fold over elastic. And with this particular fabric, I'm going to use a navy because I really like the contrast. I want that little bit of contrast. And I also want to wear it with navy like denim capris. So I'm, I'm visualizing the whole look, what I want it to look like, and I want this to pull into the capris. If you're going to wear it with a lighter bottom, then I would go a lighter um, fold over elastic. All right, so the pattern is that easy enough. The sleeve, I want to come in. Now the original garment that was sent to me was a tank top. It did not have a sleeve. It was adorable. It's really cute. But I want a sleeve. And so what I did is I'm adding my sleeve in. Let me show you. Once these darts are closed up, you can see that there's the, the first layer, where the first layer comes in. So I'm going to end my sleeve right there. So I folded up my sleeve on the short sleeve line, and then the it will end right where the cascade comes in together. So that's the sleeve. There's no changes to the back at all. So that's good. Let's talk about fabric here for a minute. Um, ideally, you want a fabric that you like both sides with. This is a lightweight cotton. It's from France. Absolutely, I love it. I just love it. I'm in love with the print. It's just a little, it's not a floral, but it's, um, I don't know, it looks like a paint splatters to me. I think that's why I like it. And the back side of this will show 
and the back side is not the same as the front side, but I like it. I like both sides. I'm okay, you're gonna see. And then the reason I want it to show is I think it'll see the difference of the cascading a little bit more. So, so you'll see if you like it or not, because once I finish, I'll show it to you, and then you can decide, hey, I don't like that. But I do, I like it. Um, you could use the whole back side as the right side, because it's really pretty, it's just more muted. But I'm going to use this as the right side and then I'm just gonna let the wrong side show just for that little, um, when you fold it back, this little section is what's gonna be the wrong side. You could trim this up with fold over elastic if you wanted, you could really accentuate that. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna let it, you could hem it, not hem it. I mean, lots of variables here, you guys, you guys know that, lots of styling details. I'm gonna let it go. All right, so I'm gonna cut it out, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna put it on, and I'm gonna come back and show it to you, and I hope you like it, I hope I like it. <laughs> I think I will. So I'm excited to make this new top. See you in a little bit. I love it, I love it, I really love it. It's exactly what I wanted, it's light, it's cool. So now you can see where I was talking about. I didn't finish these edges, I just surged them and left them because I could. I guess and I really like it I like the little contrast that it gives underneath there um, I just really like it so I always appreciate all of you sending in all the great little things you send in this I took off the photo but it's fun to just see how something very little like this can really change it up you can do it in a knit a woven just a couple tips, you have to lower the neckline if you're dealing with a woven. This was the classic blouse, otherwise you can't get it off and on your head. So just be aware of that. Um, I did put darts in the back because I know myself well enough that I like a little bit of shaping. I like it to be loose, but I like a little bit of shaping. And just be careful and think about this because if you do too much shaping, you're not gonna be able to get it off. You know, if the waist gets too much smaller than the bust, if you bring it in too much, you can't get it off. So just be aware of that. My sleeve, you can see it comes in right where that cascade is, which is exactly, again, what I wanted. Um, I like it, I just really like it. And like I said, it's so cool and it's so comfortable. The six darts took me six minutes. I actually um, kind of watched the clock just so I could report back. So they're not bad, they're really not bad. Again, if you're a dart hater, go with something that doesn't have darts, that will work also. Um, but I love it. Hope you love it too. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns. Happy Monday sewing from Silhouette Patterns.